Tip number one, the Echo PT system. Did you know there's a four and three course Echo PT system? So what I mean by this is that if you go to your data bank, you can see that the base drop rate is 20% chance for Echo drop rate, but you can guarantee 100% drop rate for Echo for bosses and elites. So what I mean by this is that if you go to your Echo gallery and you filter, there is three different groups. The first group being the elite class, the tree cost one, overlord class, as well as the calamity class. They are three different groups, so they share different PD systems. Calamity class and overlord class is similar. Similar in the sense that the chance is one in two. The base drop rate is 20% for echo drop rate, right? And so if I try to fight dreamless and I, if I don't get dreamless in 20%, the next dreamless I fight, is 100% chance. This applies to the whole group. If I try to fight Dreamless, and if I don't get Dreamless, if I try to fight a Bell boss next, it's 100% chance that I get this Echo. So you can mix and match in this sense. If you don't get a Dreamless in your first try, the second Dreamless you fight, it's a 100% chance. Now the Overlord class shares a similar pity system. So what I mean by this is that if I try to fight Tempest, and if I don't get Tempest in my first try, the second Tempest I try to fight, it's a 100% chance to drop an Echo. So you can kind of mix and match this as well. For example, if I try to fight Crownless and Crownless doesn't drop in 20%, if I try to fight like a Dundering Mephist next, it's 100% drop rate. Now the last one is Elite Class Echoes. Now they share a different PD system. It's not 1 in 2 anymore. It's actually 1 in 4. So if I were to fight a Spearback and... I don't get his echo in three tries. The fourth spearback I fight, I get an echo guaranteed. But you can mix and match this as well. Same with the bosses. So what this means is that I can fight three spearback and one havoc. And the havoc is 100% chance to drop on the fourth try if I didn't get any spearback in the process. So for example, if I were to fight spearback number one number two number three all three of them didn't drop in 20 percent chance then my fourth elite class mob that i defeat would drop an echo guaranteed now if you're asking for one cost pt system there is no one cost pt system there is no one cost common class pt system tip number two lower your sol phase now, I know you guys may be wondering why should you lower your SOL phase. Uh, the answer is really simple really. Lowering your SOL phase will affect your meteor drop rate. But if you're particularly hunting for echoes, you just want the echo that is 5 star and you want the correct main stats. So if I try to hunt this boss, I could fight the same boss usually and it takes about 1 minute 30 seconds but if i were to lower my sol tree phase i can hunt the same boss in 30 seconds basically it's all about efficiency if i lower my sol tree phase i can fight three different bosses in 1 minute 30 seconds instead of fighting one boss in 1 minute 30 seconds and the cooldown after lowering your sol tree phase is 12 hours so what you need to do is basically just spend your energy wave plate then lower your sol tree phase and then try to hunt for all the echoes you want hunt for the bosses you want and then after you're done hunting just wait for 12 hours then increase it back take note if you increase it there's also a 12 hour cooldown to decrease it so basically you want to farm efficiently as possible and if you lower your sol phase it would be way easier to farm your echoes because they have the same drop rate it does not change the only thing that changes is your material drop rate so my next tip is to not rush your echo farming what i mean by this is that i spend a lot of time trying to hunt for an echo as a four three Three, one, one, because that's the most ideal scenario right but i would say this is kind of inefficient to hunt it at early game now i, I emphasize uh, this is inefficient to hunt it at early game and i'm currently at union level 32 the reason being that your data bank maximum level right now is 18 and the chances of you getting a five star 
echo is 50% chance. So this means that if I were to hunt, a, for example, a dreamless with crit rate, I would spend a lot of time hunting for crit rate, right? But at data bank 18, if I were to hunt dreamless, it's a 50% chance that I can get purple ones as well. So you can see so much time has been wasted because I've been getting purple dreamless. Whereas if you were to, let's say, explore the world, level up, get to union level 40, then you can get data bank 20 or 19 at this uh, yeah, you can get data bank 20 on 19 and the 5 star drop rate is 80% chance. This will be so much more efficient to farm your echoes at 80% chance. So if you're really trying to make like the perfect relics at this level, you can do so. But just know that as a, there will be a lot of time wasted because it's 50-50 at this, this stage in time. If you were to get union level 40, then it will be 80, 20% and you will spend way lesser time to farm for a 5 star instead and less time wasted farming your echo set.